up, YouTube? We're back with some Summoner's War because, first of all, you guys liked the video. You guys watched it, and that's cool. Second of all, because I really enjoy this game, and I want to show you guys a little bit more about it today. So, the first video we did was a first look, right? Talked about the game, a little bit what it's about. Today, I want to talk about kind of what I'm doing right now, just what the random hero is doing in the game, right? It's not. It's less about strategy. Well, everything I do is strategy, but it's more about just what I'm doing. So make sure if you guys like the videos, you hit the like button. Make sure uh, drop a subscribe. Talk a can't talk. Drop a subscribe. You know, show the support to the channel, and of course, don't forget to leave a comment for things you want to see on this game specifically, and any other game for that matter. So we're here with some Summoner's War. Okay. And from what I was reading online, the strategy for this game is to, as quickly as possible, create a team that can beat Giants Keep B10 or whatever B stands for, Basement, I don't know. So the goal is to do Giants 10 on auto mode as often as possible until you get enough five and six star runes to then make all your monsters like five star plus five star six star runes so we click item drops and you go to giants these guys can drop one of these five runes and number 10 giants 10 has the best chance of dropping five and six star runes which is something that we can talk about in a future video about how there's importance of runes and blah 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 but i know that i need to do giants 10. Well, Giants 10 is water, and the thing that water is weak against is wind. So naturally, the team that's strongest against Giants 10 would be a wind team. So what I did here is I just clicked on monsters that are used the most, and the first one is Shannon. Shannon is a very common monster that a lot of people use as a wind monster. She has a very good team support kind of role. She's very supportive. She helps the team roll well together. Bernard is number two which is another one I'm working on and then Bella is number four so those three monsters I currently have in my monsters list I'm trying to find the last two monsters what should I use for the last two to complete this team and that's kind of where I don't know I could actually change this to ten well that okay guys we just we just recognize something together on YouTube right here right now you can click this top thing and it'll show you what's the best team to use so Veramos is number one uh, he's very hard to get and it's a very long fusion process to get to him. I am in the process of getting him. It's going to take a while for me to get there. But as you can see, the top four after Veramos is ben Bernard, Bella, or Bella, Bella Dion, whatever. Bella, Lucian, Shannon. I don't have Lucian, but I have the other three. So it looks like what I need to work on would be Lucian and Veramos. I unfortunately don't have either of those guys yet. I'm trying. Uh, Megan is also a pretty popular one. I wish I had that one, but I do not. So what I currently have going here for my team, and I don't think this is going to be good enough, is I have... Okay, so I have Shannon here. I have Bernard here. I have Bella right here. And the other ones I'm currently working on, I have Amon, who is a very, very good light bear who heals very well. If you can get the crit rate to 100%, his, every time he crits, I'll show you this skill right here. Every time he crits, recovers all allies by 12% of my max HP if you get a critical hit. Okay, so if I can increase his speed so that he attacks a lot and he has a crit rate of 100%, that means that 12% of my health, which currently is 7,000, so 12% of 7,000 is like a little over 700, we could say. Um, it'd be like, seven eight hundred that means every time he hits because if his crit rate is a hundred percent every time he hits he's gonna heal my guys for seven eight hundred health at this current health bracket if i get better runes and i can get his health to like 10 or fifteen thousand, now we're talking about a thousand health every time he attacks and if i can increase his speed to like 200 and he can attack twice or three times on a turn the heals are gonna be fantastic on this guy so I don't know if this is a good guy. I don't see him a lot as a used monster, but to me, my brain's thinking, if I can make him speed, his heals will be so good. So I'm working on him. I'm hoping that maybe I can make him a viable option for this team. I also have Cilia, which is a wind uh, witch, pretty much. I don't see her used very often, but she is a wind monster, so I thought maybe I might work on her, because um, I don't have Veramos or Lucian yet. 
you know, it's something in the works, but that's what I'm working on. So I just wanted to show you guys, I'm working on a team that can beat Giants 10 on auto mode so I can farm runes, so I can get these guys stronger. In the meantime, what I am working on today, well, today, which will technically be yesterday once you guys see this, is I'm currently doing the fire dungeon because I really want to be able to awaken my little guy here to Beretta. Um, I can't click it, but I want to be able to awaken to that top right monster there uh, because Beretta's really good, good fire monster to have. Uh, kind of the same as as uh, Verde here has that ability to increase attack speed of your allies. So working on that. Also want to awaken this guy at some point. Probably will be in next week or two. But so that's what I've been doing today. Just been farming the heck out of uh, the Hall of Fire here. I'm doing six. It's a safe mode I can do here, no problem. I can just auto run it. I'm not gonna do that because it'll just drag the video on longer than we want to watch. But I just want to show you guys that's what I'm working on. I'm working on that team. If you guys have any advice for me on Summoner's War, I know a lot of you guys have probably played this game a lot because it's been around for about two or three years, something like that. Um, so a lot of you guys are probably way ahead of me in this game. If you are and you have any strategies or anything you want to let me know of, please go ahead. Feel free to leave a comment below. I'm open for any advice, any feedback you guys want to give me. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Let me know if that whole description of the, uh, the Ahmed, Ahmed Bear? Amon, Amon Bear. Let me know if the whole description of Amon uh, helped you guys kind of see something in a different light. I think that this bear has potential. I have a friend on my friends list that uses this bear as the main guy, and he literally saved my booty when I was doing some dungeons. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like I said before, and make sure to hit the like button. Let's see if we can break like 20 or 30 likes. That'd be crazy tight. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel. And I'll catch you all in another video. Peace out. Bye. Oh, yeah.